Welcome to Mousepad Computers. As you view the video, feel free to pause and replay the video at your convenience. It's a great idea to read one question at a time below and pause the video as you hear the answer to each question revealed. Mousepad Computers is a blended class. That means that all materials are available online, but while you are in school, the teacher is present to help guide you and answer any questions you may have. Likewise, if you are working from home, you may continue to access all materials online and also ask questions of the teacher using the online management tools. As we work through the Mousepad computer course, you will be given assignment deadlines which will be posted on our class website. Wildcard days will be discussed later, but for the meantime, think of a wildcard day as a bonus day in which you can play catch up for your assignment deadline. Lesson videos will guide you through each lesson and unit of study. The videos will introduce the program's tools and functions, and each post will provide for you the lesson objectives, requirements, and oftentimes a final example to help you visualize what the requirements look like in that final product. And if you don't catch it all the first time, you can always re-watch videos as many times as you need. Class Objectives Some of the things we will cover in class include basic vocabulary, which focuses on the parts of the computer, tools of our global network online, and common program features. Program Applications, which will teach you how to apply a variety of programs that you can use in this class's lessons, other classes, and in your personal life. Coding, which opens up a whole new world to your knowledge of computers and how you can use them in everyday life. With regard to this class, your learned skills in these programs will assist you in your final independent project near the end of the course. Scorecards. Each student is given a scorecard, which will help you keep track of each assignment in this class. Basically, you will receive a token for each assignment block as you work toward your wildcard days. So let's take a closer look at your scorecard. You will find your grade level here, your unused hall passes will appear here, the list of assignments for the course are located here, bonus hall passes are located here, and the scorecard key located here indicates the tokens you will receive for your submitted assignments. The star. The star is the highest valued token. The star indicates that you went above and beyond the requirements posted for the assignment. It shows that you taught yourself and included features of the program not taught to you by the teacher in the lesson videos. How do you know what the requirements are? Just look at the lesson doc posted for each assignment. I will further explain the lesson documents a little later. This token is the target token. The target shows that you are proficient in the skills introduced for the lesson. Think of it as a 100%. You provided all of the requirements in your assignment or lesson. The question mark token indicates that your submitted work was missing up to 20% of the requirements or you did not fully understand the skills introduced and it could use some improvement. If you see this token, consider going back to review any of the appropriate videos and check the list of lesson requirements. It's always a great idea to use any extra time you may have in class to go back and make any improvements to raise your grade. The reset button indicates that you either submitted an assignment that failed to show your understanding of the skills, or you didn't submit the assignment at all. If you see this token, you either submitted an assignment that didn't show your understanding of the skills, or you submitted the wrong assignment at the assignment post. Pay careful attention to what is due at each assignment post. Finally, you've heard me refer to wildcard days and probably wondered what that means. As you work to gain tokens for your scorecard, you'll notice lesson numbers are grouped together. These are referred to as units. Deadline dates will be posted on the class website for each lesson. The day following the last lesson in the unit will be given to the class as a wildcard day. On wildcard days, you have three choices. One. 
If you haven't completed all lessons in the unit, you can use this day to catch up and submit any missing work with no grade penalty. 2. If you are caught up, you can play in the Internet Cafe on our class website. Or 3. If you are all caught up and wish to move ahead with the next assignment, you may. In the Internet Cafe, you will find a hodgepodge of online programs to explore. The Internet Cafe is always changing, so be on the lookout for added programs. These programs vary from helping you with our coding and project-based units to personal interest sites. And that concludes Mousepad 101 Video 1. Thank you for watching.